Good evening, Daniel. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. good evening. Good hey, evening, Fernando. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hey, thanks for coming on time. How is everything there? Ah, uh, that's good. I'm sleeping all the days. <laughs> uh, you're sleepy? Yes. <laughs> you, you, should, you should have some coffee. Nah, it's necessary. <laughs> necessary. Yeah. What about you, Daniel? How's everything there? I find my day was very very good. <laughs> Your day was fantastic. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, tell me, uh, have you learned something in English lately? I learned about expression igual que la que la que ocupamos en español. Por ejemplo, écheme la manita o echarme la manita. How do you say that in English? Give me a hand. Give me a hand. So I, I need to pay my house. Can uh, you give me a hand? Excellent. <laughs> hey, can you give me a hand? Excellent. Así como decimos en español, también en inglés se puede. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So we can, we can give me a hand. Hey, give me a hand. Hey, Liz, good evening. Okay, Veralis, I got it. Okay, so I got it. Okay, it will be only the first hour. Okay. Well, I'm really happy because well, you you keep like uh, studying something, learning something in English, and that is that is awesome, right? So give me a hand is an expression that I didn't teach you, but you investigated. So that's what I was looking for. Or that's what I'm looking for, that you can uh, learn something by your own also. Not only uh, the information that I share in the class, but the information that you can. Now, you see, I'm in a, in a, in a you know, I'm in a, in a neighbor where the internet cannot be, uh, I mean, there is no any internet over here. So people um, uh, both start link and that's why I'm able to teach from here. And you know, having the internet, you have everything there, right? You have new expressions, new, uh, new pronunciation, new exercises in English and also, if you want to learn another language, you can start doing so by surfing the internet. Is that right? Okay. Everything with the internet is better, it's better. Well, I have Daniel, Juan Fernando, Michael, good evening. Norma, Jancy. Berenice, good evening. And Aníbal, good evening. Good evening, everybody. The topic for tonight is not that difficult. I think we're gonna uh, work a little bit uh, with the topic and then, okay, Berenice, good evening. Mario Cristobal is just getting connected. And it's getting better. So th this is the third week. So hopefully next week we're going to finish with this level. We have a lot of topics that we're still missing. And we're going to start reading some info. We're going to start like 
working a little bit more with uh, reading activities and with PowerPoint presentation, when you are gonna be in church of presenting some info, I will let you know about it later. Good evening, uh, Aníbal. You will be as a listener tonight. Okay. So I have 10 people and I hope that you can uh, stay concentrated and doing your best here. That will help me a lot. So I will check the list of attendance. As you know, it's very important to see about people who gets connected on time. So Ada, Belen, Daniel, present teacher. Okay, Edgar, Gladys, Jonathan, Jose Daniel, Juan Fernando, present teacher. Okay, Maria. Maria Elba, Mario Cristobal. I know Mario is there, right? Berenice, I know Berenice is there. Merlin, Michael. Present. Okay, Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay, Ronan. Teresa. I know where Elise is there. And Jansen. Just give me a second, please. I will close. Present You're there, right? Present teacher. Excellent. Pretty clear. Now we're going to start. Let me see. There are some people in the chat. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it, Berenice. Hope you get better, okay? Take it easy. If you're not able to participate, don't worry, okay? We understand. And I can see Gladys. Gladys will be a listener tonight also. And well, I hope we're going to have a great time here. Well, we're gonna do something here. Oh, and this is very, very important, okay? Now, yesterday we were talking about the way to use, will you mind or could? Is that right? Let me see if I am not mistaken, right? Yeah, will you mind? Actually, this is a this was this topic, right? How to use could you and how to use with your mind. And we were uh, just telling, or we, we were just explaining that there is a slight difference between them, right? Especially with the grammatical structure, right? So could you and would you mind? Okay, so later, well, we have some exercises here. And well, there is one that it caught, that caught my attention. Could you tell me where the nearest bank is, please? What are we gonna do? We're gonna read the following request and later correct response. I'm sorry, I'm not trying around here. Yes, of course. Here you go. I suppose so, but. I need it back before Friday. Oh, I love to. What would be the best option? Well, we have, sure, right, right away. Good evening, Merlin. Good to see you here. And also, Jonathan. Welcome back. Could you tell me where the nearest bank is, please? Could you? Yesterday we were talking about it, right? I'm sorry, uh, uh, 
I'm not from around here. Yes, of course. Here you go. I suppose so, but I need I need it back before Friday. Oh, I love to. Or sure, right away. What is the best option, people? I wanna, I wanna, two options. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not two from around option. here. Oh, I did love to. I love to? I love to. Um... Mm. Yes, of course, here you go. Yes, of uh, course. Option. I'm here sorry, I'm not from around here. No, number one. I'm sorry, I'm not from around yes. here. I think that that's a, it's because I cannot choose two, only one. Okay, what would be that one? The first <laughs> the first one? The first one? Yes. yes. I'm oh, sorry, okay. I'm not from around here. I got Merlin over there. Uh, Jose Daniel says, Good evening to everyone. Welcome. Okay, so I'm sorry I'm not trying to run it. So we're going to see it later. Now, in the number two, uh, would you mind passing me the, that many, please? And we have different options here. So I'm sorry I'm not trying to run here. Not that all. Here you go. I suppose so, but I need it back before Friday. Or, oh, I love to shoot right away. Or I didn't love to. Or I love to. I love to. But where do you think this expression is used? No, no, no. Do you mind? Do you mind? Yeah, so maybe the expression is used in a restaurant, right? Yes. Okay, so the best option would be, I'm sorry, not at all. Here you go. I suppose so, but I need it back before Friday. Oh, oh, I love to. Or sure, right away. Sure, right away. Sure, right away. Sure, right away. Number three, could you lend me 20 bucks, please? I'm sorry, I'm not going to run here. Yes, of course, here you go. I suppose so, but I need it back before Friday. Oh, I love to, or should right away. Best option? Yes, of course, here you go. Okay, okay. that is the best one. Yes, of course. Here you go. Okay, we're going to see because we're going to discover later. Hey, would you mind sharing your lunch with me? I'm sorry, I'm not from around here. Yes, of course. Here you go. I suppose so, but I need it back before Friday. Oh, I love to shoot right away. I love to. Oh, I love to. And the last one, well, I'm choosing the one that you that you told me, right? Number five, could you contact the IT department? I'm sorry, I'm not running around here. Yes, of course, here you go. I suppose so, but I need it back before Friday. Oh, I love to, or sure, right away. Tell me. Best option here. Where's the best option, people? Number. Yes, of course. Yes, of yes, course. Here you go. That is the one. No. Yes, and number three is. <laughs> Yeah, and the number three? Is I suppose so, but needing back before Friday. Oh, you wanna change it then? 
Okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if we got it, okay? So the first one. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not from around here. Would you mind passing me that menu, please? Not at all. Here you go. Oh, that this is the, this is the correct one, right? Yes. Not at all. Here you go. Could you lend me twenty bucks, please? I suppose so, but I need it back before Friday. Would you mind sharing your lunch with me? Okay. Oh, oh, I love to. And can you contact the IT department? Yes, of course. Here you go. Okay. So uh, the last one is like, uh, sure, right sure. away, right? Sure, yes. right away. Okay, so we continue learning Okay, about, about these expressions. And now you know what? Well, I, I hope that you you could you could have finished the, the exercise at home. Okay, it's because for for me it's a, it's very important that you complete all the exercises. In the book, I have some info. And then we're gonna see some other uh, exercises that I have here. The yesterday, or I mean, the last week we were talking about these expressions, and I will ask, what is the difference between them? What is between? What is the difference when we use could and when we use would? Would you mind could and would you mind? What's the difference? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? What is the difference? Mind. Okay. We have cool, and then we have would you mind? So, but what what do you see different from when you say would you mind and when you say cool? Because both are polite what? requests, right? Both are polite requests. But what what do you see is different here? When you use could, after could you have subject, after subject you have a base form. When you have would you mind, after what you have you a subject pronoun. Then we have my, and after my, we have uh, an ing form. Okay, so there's another difference between, but both of them refer to polite requests, okay? Both of them are polite requests. That's what we were doing the last time. And uh, it was quite good. We saw this exercise. Okay, uh, we investigated or we studied a little bit about polite requests. You receive or you keep when, uh, when working, right? And that's what we did the last time. Now here, I have uh, something else. There is... There you are, the, 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 the goal. And at the end of this lesson, you're supposed to react or you will be able to react appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Appropriate and inappropriate behavior. Okay, and we're gonna start from that. We have, does your company have regulations about employees behavior? Name three examples of an acceptable behavior in your company. Oh, this is a good one, right? A good question. So people, does your company have regulations about employees behavior? 
Tell me, please. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes, teacher, it does. No, teacher, it doesn't. Does your company have regulations about employees and employees' behavior? Yes, my company regulation about our behavior. Uh, what are some of the regulations that you that you can see there? I have a. Uh... Ley, una ley interna o instituciones internas. Exactly. So those are regulations. Dear your colleague, well. Uh -huh. Treat your, your co worker well. Uh -huh. uh, punctuality. <laughs> punctuality, okay. You, you, be, you have to be punctual. What respect. else? Respect. That's respect. another respect. one. Show respect to your co workers. Yes. What else? Service to other. Okay. You, 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 you should be like cooperative, right? Cooperative. Yeah, yeah and willing to help others. Okay, good. What else? I fulfill the segment of the day. Accomplish with all the tasks. Yes. Yeah, okay. So that's Oh, those are some regulations. Now, can you name three examples of an acceptable behavior in your company? An acceptable. That's different. An acceptable. Okay, can you mention three examples? Be late. Ah, uh, to be late. There is something that's in fashion now. Or that people tend to, tend to uh, fall into that mistake. Misrespect our colleagues. Misrespect our co-workers, colleagues. Okay. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see the conversation here. And as you can see, there's an instructor, and um, we have a certain situation here. Claudia, the conversation is between Claudia and Raul, and Claudia starts like saying. Hey, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messenger or his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite, Tita. I agree. We should help him instead. Wow, what do you think about the conversation? What do you think, people? About addicted to phone. Uh -huh. what, what do you think about being addicted to a phone? Robert is addicted to phone. To his phone. Yeah, Robert is addicted to his phone. But what do you think about his behavior? Mm. 
It's brown. It's brown. Why? Why? Because? Because it's, it's not healthy. It's not healthy? <laughs> because it is not healthy to be like in front of the in front of the cell phone. Okay, what else? What do you think about this expression, Raul? He should not chat in a meeting. What do you think about chatting in a meeting? What do you think about that behavior? Comportamiento. Yeah, but what do you think about that behavior? What do you think about chatting in a meeting? No debe. Uh, yeah, but he should not chat in a meeting, correct? It's, I mean, is that a is that a good behavior or a bad behavior? A bad behavior, right? Because when being in a in a meeting, you are supposed to pay special attention to what the, the trainer is saying, okay, or the instructor in this case saying. Absolutely, that is not polite, says Claudia. <laughs> exactly, Berenice. Exactly. Now, if you are chatting, I, I agree with Berenice's, Berenice's thought or Berenice's way of thinking. If you, if you need to chat, you need to do it just before getting into the meeting, not in the meeting. You, you can do it before or after, not, but not during the meeting. I agree that, I, I agree with you. And he should answer his messages after the meeting. How you see? After the meeting, okay? And we should not talk about him that is not polite either. Okay. Now, what do you think about about talking? Or do you think it's a good idea to talk about co-workers or colleagues? What do you think? To talk about co-workers or colleagues. Good idea, bad idea. It's bad, bad, bad idea. Bad idea, right? But what, what is the problem with it, Michael? Uh, What's the problem? Uh, but he don't like uh, that. <clears throat> I talk about him. Because actually, if... if if you start talking about co-workers, you see, the environment at work cannot be that positive. And we want, what do you think it's better to have a positive, a, a positive, be, I mean, environment or a negative environment in, in, the, in our job? Everybody is going to say, teacher, it's better to have a, a positive environment. And I agree, but if we talk about somebody, that is not going to contribute to it. Well, I need two people to read. I need two people to read. Tell me what it is. Okay, Michael and? I am. Michael and? Someone said me, right? Michael and? Hi, teacher. Ah, okay, so. Merlin, okay, so. Michael and Merlin, and after that, we're going to listen to Fernando, okay? Okay. So you, okay. you start, Merlin. I can't believe it. Robert, <coughs> Hola. Is, sí. Robert is addicted, addicted to his phone. 
Did you, did you see him? He should not change in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer, answer his messenger after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That is not polite either. I agree. Uh -huh. We should help him instead. We should help him instead. Excellent. Now, Fernando and, and somebody else. Fernando and Jonathan. Go ahead. You start, Fernando. <clears throat> sorry, 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 sorry. I can't believe it. Roberto is addicted to this one. Did you see him? You're right. He shall not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. <clears throat> that is not late. Um, he shall also. His message after the meeting, and we shall be told about him. That not please, Hector. Agree. We shall help. We shall help <coughs> him instead. Instead. Okay. Instead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, um, let us try to repeat once, okay? Because I consider it's important. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Did you see him? You're right. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. He should, he should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. That is not polite. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. He should answer the message after meeting. And we should not talk about him. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. That's not polite either. Agree. Agree. We should help him instead. We should help him in instead. 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 Now, do me the favor to get a list. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? And what are some real behavior your coworkers are not expected to do? Okay? <laughs> so do me the favor to get some polite behaviors, like five examples. Five examples. From here and for example from here. Okay? Okay. Work on it and then you are going to explain. Okay, si ustedes se fijan, perdón que me pase el español. Si ustedes se fijan, he estado preguntando cosas desde el inicio. Porque necesito que practiquemos un poquito más como el, el poder este exteriorizar nuestros pensamientos, nuestras ideas. Por ejemplo, ahorita. Le solicito que busque uh, cinco o oh, cinco ejemplos de comportamiento que ustedes esperan de sus compañeros de trabajo. Ok, pero no solo que me los vayan a leer, sino que, que me expliquen por qué consideran que son importantes. Lo mismo con el, con el dos. ¿Cuáles son aquellos comportamientos rudos, ok, de parte de nuestros compañeros de trabajo? que realmente no, no, nosotros no los esperamos que ellos hagan, ¿ok? Entonces, trabajemos en esto. Vamos a, les voy a dar cinco minutos, ¿ok? Para que creen así ideas cortas, pero que, que no solo nos quedemos con, como con, le, con leer, digamos. No, aportemos qué es lo que, lo que pensamos. 
Por ejemplo, acá, hey, behavior, the way that someone acts in different situations. The company expects for that behavior from all the employees. You see? Interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior. Gossiping about co-workers is real behavior. Ahora, aquí hay tres ejemplos, miren. Si yo me dedico solo a leer, hey, the company expects polite behavior for all, from all the employees. Ok, ya, ya dije uno. Pero yo, yo estoy buscando que ustedes digan, o que ustedes le amplíen a la, a la respuesta. Ok. So the company expects polite behavior from all over the employees because they consider that the environment in the company should be or has to be positive. Ah, por lo menos algo así corto. Okay? So five minutes, cinco minutos, y ya luego voy a pedir que, que por favor me ayuden, ¿verdad? A compartir sus ideas. Five minutes, five minutes, cinco minutos. Bless you.
Okay, so if you are ready to share your ideas, just let me know it. Raise your hand if you want to participate and tell me about what are some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers and what are some others uh, real behaviors your co-workers are not expected to do. Okay, any volunteer want to share ideas? Hello. Hello. I only have, I have only two, two sentences for the moment. <laughs> for example, I expect respect to maintain a good work environment. And I expect responsibility from all colleagues because that way we all comply. Okay, you use the, the word complain, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so there, those are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers. What are some real behaviors you could work and not expect it to do? Bad behavior. Uh, uh huh. Real behavior. Uh -huh. What do you have, people? Volunteers? Thank you, Juan. Okay. Uh, the company expects idea to respect, to be respected. And the company expects punctuality from coworkers. The company expect a good attitude from every for every employee. And it is impolite not to respect the opinion of colleagues. It is impolite not to arrive at the indicate time, that's all. Okay, very good. Thank you, Juan, Fernando, okay? Well, we have like two opinions there, right? Two opinions that are meaningful. What are some polite behaviors uh, you expect from your coworkers? Well, like, the ones that you mentioned, right? A coworker should should come on time to the work. Okay. I think responsibility is quite important when talking about about the behavior of other people, right? If you're very very responsible, very polite, and um, and you try to do your best at a company. I think you are going to become an, an admired worker there. Well, I have a video over here. We share it in the group. And then you tell me what you think. I think this is the one. Give me a second, please.
I will share, I will share the link. I will stop sharing here. But I will share the link so that you can see it. And then you are gonna tell me. Well, it is, well, it's gonna be a little bit long. It's like 14 minutes, right? But I will share it with you so that you can see it. And that you can get some ideas about, about good manners and what to say and do politely in English. Here you are the link. Okay, here you are the link. Hey, what are we gonna do, people? Bueno, van a ver el enlace. Ahí se lo compartí en el, en el chat. Van a sacar un summary. ¿Saben qué es un summary? Summary. Un resumen. Summary. De la presentación que ahí nos comparten. Okay, it's, it's quite important because the video is about how to be polite with, with other people. It's very important. Actually, the topic is good manners and what to say and to. Okay, we're gonna do it. Vaya, vamos, voy a compartir. El video, bueno, quiero que ya lo tienen allí con ustedes. Ok. Van a sacar un pequeño resumen de lo que ustedes ven ahí. En realidad, pues el video dura 14 minutos. Lo vamos a ver durante 10 minutos, ok. 10 minutos y ustedes me dicen lo que piensan de, del video y de las frases que ahí se nos enseñan, ok. okay. ¿Están todos listos? Yes. Okay, so let's let's get to the activity. Vamos todos a la actividad, okay? Tiene que sacar un pequeño summary. Cuando regrese lo van a compartir. ¿Qué es lo que aprendieron de ese enlace? Here we go. Ten minutes, solo diez minutos.
Be ready, we're almost done. Like five minutes, people, then we're gonna start. Hi, teacher. Hello, are you ready? Uh, yeah, yes. Okay, so let us start. In the video, uh, talk about the uh, good ma manners. Good manners, good. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, song, song manners. Uh, are please thank you sorry excuse me good morning uh, and others uh, I mm, a ver. Uh, I a ver me llamó la atención <laughs> um El de hall that the doors. Uh, uh, in other countries, uh, in the video, explicate uh, that the people uh, ask the people, um, the people ask who is the is the last last in the in la fila quien es el último en la fila okay in the line mm -hmm. yeah um other other that um that i like uh, uh the good manners is is the smile um that is good <laughs> only that teacher the smiling i think is is one of the best options right so when you smile you seem to i mean you show or you do um yeah you show everyone that you are a, a friendly pe person Thank you, Merlin. Yeah. That was fantastic. You got a lot of info from the video. Good. Anyone else? Anybody else? Besides Merlin? What did you get? Me to turn. Okay, Fernando. What did you get? Okay. Uh, uh, good night, it is a very important when we are learning a language, they will help us to be able to mind things or start a conversation with people. And three essential good manners is please, thank you, and good morning. Is but me. <laughs> Fantastic, Fernando. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Okay, Anybody? you. Okay, Daniel. In the video, I. For example, for example uh, we need about what's acceptable uh, and what's not okay in other country. For example, many sentences or many words, please, thank you, sorry, excuse me, good morning, how are you, smile, uh, this 
are uh, acceptable word or manners. All right, Daniel, very good. Anybody else who wants to add some info or Me provide too. personal info? Uh, uh -huh. Okay, Michael, go ahead. And the word I that I like is uh, hold hold the door is is a polite that the people or has the when when hold the the door when pass over person. And the other word that I hear is the name is Rebecca, the, the teacher, and is so and you, for example, you go into an office, employees, uh, excuse when you customer, uh, working in office, Listen to right. answer and everything is okay. That's it, teacher. That's it. Pretty good. Well, as as you can notice, that's a really important video, right? Because good manners are well seen or people like when somebody behaves in the right, I mean in the right way, in a positive way. Okay, they create or they help to create a good environment. At work, good. Quite good. So, the topic for tonight, as you could read, is like to talk about should and shouldn't. And I will share something that I have here before continuing. In the class, okay, have this presentation. And the topic, as you could see, is providing pieces of advice. But what is the structure that we use to provide pieces of advice? Now, I have one question here. What is advice? What is advice, people? What's advice for you? What is advice? What's advice for you, Aniva? What's advice? Anybody in the group? Es un consejo. Yeah, that is, right? So, and then this is what we are gonna talk about tonight, okay? So like providing pieces of advice, definition. Guidance or recommendations offered with regard for prudent future action. Guidance or recommendations offered with regard to prudent future action. That's that one. Now, a synonym is about a guidance, advising, counseling, counsel, help, direction, instruction, information, enlightenment, etc. Example, I think you should wear a suit to the interview. What is that? The lady is like suggesting, right? Suggesting the boy to wear a suit to the interview, okay? It's like, hey, you should, like providing piece of advice, okay? Or proposing in this case. You shouldn't drink coffee in the evening. It'll keep you awake. You shouldn't drink coffee in the evening. Shouldn't. So we saw should and we have shouldn't. Then we should, oh, you should or shouldn't plus the verb infinity without two to give somebody advice 
or say what you think is the right thing to do. Okay, so this is the way we do it, people. I should, I should, you should, he should, she should, it should, we should, and they should. As you notice, when having third person singular here, doesn't interrupt the structure or that the structure doesn't change. I should, you should, he should, she should, it should, we should, and they should. So do me the favor to repeat. I should. I should. You should. You should. He should. He should. She should. She should. She should. It should. We should. We should. They should. They should. Okay, so that's the way, right? So it doesn't matter if we have third person singular, the structure will remain the same. Okay, should. Plus, plus what? We need a verb in the, yeah, I mean, in the base form or infinity, like in the base form, but infinity without the particle too. Okay. Okay, so this is about shoe. Let's see, because I got yeah, some more Right. Now, if you investigate about R and R, R and not too, it's also possible. Okay, but you know, se recuerdan cuando estudiamos have y must. Alguien se recuerda cuando utilizamos esos esos modales, modal verbs. Okay, do me the favor, people, pay attention. Now. As you remember, when we, we use must or have to, we say, I have to, you have to, he has, she has, he has, and we, we have, and they have. So that's like an obligation, right? This one is suggestion or pieces of advice. Suggestions or pieces of advice. This one is the same story, other, and other not too. It's also possible. But the most common is should or shouldn't. The most common is should or shouldn't. And other, yeah, people use it, but it's, it's less frequently for them to use it. So far, so good? So far, so good? Good. Good. So we have some example. You are to wear a suit. You are you are you are, you are <clears throat> not to dream. Okay. We often use. Give me a second. We often use. I think she should, and I don't think she should. I think I don't think. Okay. We have. I think you should change your job. <laughs> I hate my child. I don't think you should speak to her. I don't think you should speak to him to the to her. Okay. Now it's your turn. Look, I want you. Look at over here. I think you should change your job. Now it's your turn. I want you. Oops. Okay, you should stop throwing the ball. You should. It's not an obligation, right? But if you if you use, hey, you have to stop um, doing so. So you have. It's an obligation. You must also obligation. But when you say you should, hey, you should stop doing so, or you should stop doing that. That is a piece of advice.
So, what I want you to understand, lo que yo necesito que veamos acá, es que tenemos modales. ¿Ok? Le vamos a llamar modal verbs. Y en los modal verbs, nos vamos a encontrar que unos son como más fuertes que otros. No es lo mismo decir, hey, you should go to the doctor, o a, you have to go to the doctor, o you must go to the doctor. ¿Ok? Cuando decimos you have to, es porque es obligación. O you must, debes de. Es como, hey, si no lo haces, te puede suceder algo malo. ¿Ok? Now, I have, I have a problem going to sleep at night. What should I do? That's a good idea, thanks. But this is not a very good idea because I think you should or you shouldn't. I think you should. Okay, now what, what are you going to do in here? Van a leer o voy a ir leyendo y ustedes me dicen cuál es el consejo que ustedes le dan a esta persona. Recuérdense que should es para dar consejo o proponer algo. I have problems going to sleep at night. What should I do? Okay, tell me. You shouldn't drink coffee at night. You shouldn't drink coffee at night. And you shouldn't. You shouldn't do so. Yeah, yeah thank you, Daniel. Look at the next one. My children want a dog, but my husband or wife is allergic to animals. Uh huh. What's, what is your piece of advice? My children want to do, but my husband or my wife is allergic to animal. Right? What a problem, he, right? He should no don't don't buy a dog. He should he shouldn't or he should. He shouldn't don't buy a dog. He shouldn't adopt or or buy a dog. Why? Uh, why, Michael? What do you think he shouldn't do so? Why he husband and wife is alleged? Because but the pet. Sure, you should. You should. He should do it. You should do it because he won't get sick. Uh -huh. You shouldn't, you shouldn't yes. get any, you shouldn't acquire any, any pain because your wife may get sick. Okay, um, remember, she's allergic to animals. Good, let's see. Next one. My neighbor's dog parks all the time and it's driving me crazy. Piece of advice? My my neighbors though works all the time and it's driving me crazy. Piece of advice. Piece of advice, people, for this. I uh, think I uh, think I, I think you should talk to your neighbor. Okay, that may be a, a good solution, right? You should talk to your neighbor. Okay. Okay, let's see the next one. The, my laptop isn't working well. It's very slow. What should I do? What should I do? Uh 
You should a new computer. You should buy. <laughs> buy a new computer. You should buy a new computer. Okay, that's an option. That's an option. Let's see. I share a flag with a friend, but he or she never does the washing up. Uh huh. You should talk. You should talk to him, right? Yes, I. I think you. You should talk to a friend. To your friend. friend. Yeah, you should talk to your friend. Let's see if we have some other. Yeah, I want to take my boyfriend or my gay friend somewhere. Really special on Saturday night. That is to propose, right? Hey, propose him to take his girlfriend somewhere that really special. Help me with this one, please. I think I think you should uh, restaurant mm. good restaurant. I I think you should take him to a good restaurant <laughs> nearby Quarepeque Lake, for example. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a good option, right? So over there is not a piece of advice. The person is uh, providing a recommendation. I think I'm getting a cold. I have a headache in a cup. Piece of advice. Piece of advice. No one? I I I think I, I think uh -huh. you to take or, or drink a medicine. Okay, you should you should have some medicine. You should drink some pills for the headache and for the cough. Okay, I need some. Um, tell me, tell me, Fernando. <laughs> I think you should go to the doctor. I I think you should yeah. go to the doctor. Now, you know, there is where I told you, right? Okay. Because, imagínense, la persona tiene un fuerte, fuerte dolor de, de, de cabeza. De cabeza. Okay? Y, Le dice a la otra persona, la otra persona que pudiera, digamos, si es una emergencia o algo muy, muy fuerte, pues a lo mejor use, hey, you have to, tienes que ir, you have to go to the doctor, or you must go, debes de ir, you must go to the doctor. Pero si nosotros le decimos, imagínese alguien tiene un fuerte dolor de estómago y nada más le decimos, hey, you should have some water or you should drink um, something or you should go to the doctor. No creen que es como debería de ir, no sonaría lo correcto, ¿verdad? Sino que y, si alguien está y, realmente enfermo, se le va a decir que tiene que ir al médico, más si alguien de confianza. No soporto mi dolor de estómago. Eh, tenés que ir al médico, ¿ok? Entonces, en inglés, este, tenemos esas frases que, de hecho, ya estudiamos. Have to, must. Si mal no recuerdo, en algún momento ya lo, ya lo vimos. Si, si no, pues, por ahí ustedes buscan información de, de ello. Aquí se los va a poner para que se recuerden. 
más and have obligation, right? And also you can also uh, you can you can study the one that we saw just at the beginning. Ara. También pueden estudiar el último. Ara. Ara es similar a should. No, no. Right? Right. Okay. Okay, so you need to be clear about it. I open the parenthesis of course. I consider it important. Well, then we have my sister always borrows my clothes. And when I want to wear them, they're dirty. Uh huh. What did you get? My sister always borrows my clothes. And when I want to wear them, they're dead. What would be that piece of advice? No idea? Yeah. I think... <laughs> Uh -huh, you should, you should, the washing. Uh, she should, she should wash she the should clothes wash. before uh, delivering them to me. Okay. She should. Now I hear. We have should or shouldn't, should or shouldn't, should positive, shouldn't negative. Oh, well, there is a, there is, there is no. but let me see. Any question about it? No question? Can you listen no, to me? No, no question. No question. It's okay. So we'll stop sharing. Okay. Okay, I have a, a song over here. Do me the favor to go and visit the page and solve the exercise. Por acá comparto un enlace en una canción y ustedes van completando por ahí. Hay que resolver el ejercicio de esa canción. Okay, there you are. The song is like three minutes. So let's spend like seven minutes, okay? And then I will get back. Now you got you got the link there, right?
solve the info, I, I mean, solve the exercise, and then you tell me what you learned. Should I stay or should I go, okay? Hope that you are just enjoying that song. Okay, Jonathan. Uh, yeah, Michael, I will share it with the game. I will share it. There you are, Michael, in the chat. Okay, thank you. Now, try to solve it. Okay, let me know when you finish.
I'm sorry, but it's raining. A lot over here. Can you listen to me? Animal, can you listen to me, animals? <laughs> can you listen? Yo, yes, why? Oh, it's because it's it's raining over here. It's raining a lot. Yes, yes, cool. Hoy a mí me tocó. A mí me tocó. Hoy está lloviendo súper fuerte acá. ¿Saben qué vamos a hacer? Este, terminaron el, el la actividad del audio de, de la canción. No, todavía no. <ríe> para cuando no terminen, para este, tratar a ver si se calma un poco el, el agua, la lluvia, vamos a trabajar en lo siguiente. ¿no? Ok, para ir, para ir tratando de ver si podemos cerrar, van a completar los ejercicios de esta página. Page number 32. Especialmente esta parte, ¿ok? Yo voy a cerrar mi micrófono porque casi no me oye. Pero hay que, hay que trabajar con esto, ¿ok? Con esta página. Voy a esperar unos 10 minutos. A lo mejor, este... Ya se ha tranquilizado la, la tormenta y voy a empezar a decirles a ustedes o a preguntarles qué, qué es lo que deben hacer estas personas para poder. Además de eso, pues pueden trabajar o trabajen en. Um, ¿Cómo mejorar un ambiente de trabajo? ¿Cómo podemos hacer nosotros para mejorar nuestro ambiente de trabajo? Si es bueno, ¿cómo podemos hacerlo mejor? Okay. ¿Cómo podemos lograr que el ambiente de trabajo sea siempre un ambiente de trabajo agradable para mí y para los demás? Okay. Eso necesito que me, que me trabaje. Voy a esperar unos 10 minutos mientras ustedes trabajan y le dicen, ¿ok? ¿Está claro? ¿Está clara la actividad? Ok, teacher. Ok. okay. Las disculpas del caso, porque está lloviendo muy, muy bien. Ok. 10 minutos y regreso.
profe, ¿cuál es la tarea que se va a hacer? Ok, por el momento trabajar en la página 32. 32. Sí, 32 del CDF, Marco. Ok.
Thanks. Hello, hello. Hello, people. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Oh, I'm hello, sorry, teacher. but we're here still raining. But I will let us try to finish with the class, okay? Now, I will share once again, and then you tell me what you got, okay? Okay. Okay. So, well, over here, we have how to use should and should not or shouldn't. That is what we have been studying tonight. Uh, as you, if you see the the word symbol, you will notice that when creating expression with should, we have um a verb in the base form next week, right? So the court should answer my good morning greeting. Linda should greet with a film handshake. The supervisor should use the greeting in his emails. You should say please when you ask for a favor. So what are these? Dario, for example, shouldn't, shouldn't use many emojis in his email. Helen shouldn't speak or should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. Your boss should not shout at you. So this is this is like the, the rule. You should plus a very in the infinitive form, but without the particle too, right? Or the base form of a verb. Plus a complement to express a, suggest a direct suggestion. We should, we use should plus not plus infinitive or base form of a verb a, a plus any complement phrase to give a suggestion about something that is not appropriate. And like the examples that we have over here. Gabriel shouldn't tell sexist jokes. Okay. Now we have some. Uh, I need I need you to provide some suggestions, people, tonight, so that we can finish. We have one example here. Hey, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give order. He never says please. What will you say to this person? Uh -huh. What would you say to that person? Peter is the new supervisor. He's a supervisor. And he likes to give orders. He never says, please. What, what would you say to that person? There is, there is an example over here. Like, hey, Peter yes. should ask politely to it. Peter should say, please, when he asks for something. Aha, but tell me more. What did you get? What did you get, people, in this one? Peter is a new supervisor. He likes to give order. He never says please. What would be a piece of advice for him? Hello, anybody in the group? Anybody in the group? Yes, sir. Uh huh. Uh, Fernando. Repeat, please, please. Uh, Fernando, as you can see over here, 
there is like somebody uh, describing his or her, uh, uh, a new supervisor, right? And he right. says, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says, please. And over here, there are some suggestions about what you should say to, to him. Peter, Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should say, please. When he asks for something, what else can you say about Peter? Peter, Peter should you, you say please when he asks for something? Peter should say please when asking for something. Good, Fernando. Yes, sir. Yes. What about second part? When Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Into. Mm. A hammer link? Into. I think that uh, Carl should learn to control himself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He should learn how to how to or how to control himself. Mm -hmm. My assistant never uses a salutation in her email. Other other forms. Um, Carl should say excuse me when when he shoots at someone. Uh -huh, exactly. He, he, other, should, he, he should apologize. Fernando? The others, but me, is Carl should calm down after getting angry to speak moderately. Moderately. Okay, very good. What about this one that says, Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She louds very loudly. And I think we're going to finish with that. Um, about Lucy. Yeah, about Lucy. Lucy. Yeah. Lucy. Lucy should lower her voice when when she joking. Yeah, when telling jokes in the office, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So listen, I think we're gonna stop on here. La actividad que les dije les queda de tarea. ¿Cómo podemos mejorar el ambiente de trabajo? Si tenemos un buen ambiente de trabajo, pues genial, pero hay que investigar cómo mejorarlo aún. ¿Okay? De tal manera que el ambiente laboral sea óptimo para todos, que todos este, se sientan bien en el lugar de trabajo. ¿Ok? Pues yo creería que eso sí sucede en, en una buena empresa. Este, la mayoría de trabajadores pues, deberían de llevarse de una manera excepcional porque recordemos que todos pues, forman parte del mismo equipo ¿verdad? y algunas veces por pequeñas cositas se malinterpretan a, en ciertas situaciones y empiezan como a generar conflicto entonces el día de mañana pues nos comparten eso cómo, cómo se puede mejorar un ambiente laboral si es bueno hacerlo mejor, que no lo podemos hacer mejor. Y, este, y darnos alguna parte de de cómo interactuar con nuestros compañeros de trabajo. ¿Ok? Eso sería. Ok. Ok. Nos vamos a quedar por acá. La disculpa del caso. Me, 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 me sacó Zoom un par de veces. <risa> Ok, pero creo que lastimosamente eso no quería hacer nada contra él.
Espero verlos mañana y que descansen. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sorry. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs>